So what we are doing today is called e Smurf Camp. I'm going to display. I'm going to talk about what all Smurfs can do and new people, new players, what they can do. Playing rank games, what kind of picks they should take, what kind of system they should be playing, and uh, how they can be able to push their rank and push their situations above. That's the idea of it. It's gameplay. So I'm playing from a Smurf account, which is already reached diamonds. Um, maybe it might help. Uh, lower level rank players to actually learn and take their picks according to what situations are uh, make their bands according to what their situations are and continue the gameplay for a win that's the idea of the night's session Aaj hum discuss karenge something very important something that is very much a part of the whole community's existence लेनिंग अगर आपने मोबा कभी खेला है तो यह बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट महत्वपूर्ण एस्पेक्ट होता है खेलने का इट इज कॉल्ड लेनिंग जरा मैं आपको बता दूं लेनिंग कैसे की जाती है और कैसे होती है इस गेम के अंदर थोड़ा सा हम चलते हैं लेन तीन तरह के होते हैं सबसे पहले टॉप लेन जिसे कहा जाता है ड्रैगन स्लेयर लेन तीन लेन होते हैं टावर लेने पड़ते हैं और फिर टावर लेने के बाद मेन कोर लेना पड़ता है ये इंपॉर्टेंट ये बेसिक्स है गेम के अंदर तीन लेन होते हैं टॉप लेन मिडिल लेन और बॉटम लेन अभी थोड़ा सा हम समझेंगे लेन के से क्या सीखा जा सकता हमें ऊपर का लेन होता है स्लेयर लेन जहां पर स्लेयर पैर रहा होता है मिडिल लेन होता है एक जहां पर मेन जाती है उसके डिटेल्स थोड़े से आगे से हम देते रहेंगे आपको अबिसल ड्रैगन लेन होता है जहां पर अबिसल साइड का स्लेयर पैदा होता है वो हमें जनरली सपोर्ट कैरेक्टर और मार्क्समैन एमएम कैरेक्टर जाता है जो उसके साइड लेन्स के साइड्स में होता है वो उसको जंगल कहते हैं और जो ऊपर के जो ऊपर जो आपको पिट दिख रहा है उसको स्लेयर पिट कहा जाता है वो है ड्रैगन पिट और बीच का जो रेड लाइन है उसे कहते हैं वो रिवर वो डिवाइड करता है अब दोनों के साइड का ब्लू साइड और रेड साइड पे अब चलते हैं हम फटाफट सिचुएशन पे जहां पर हम देख सकते हैं क्या कौन सा प्लेयर कौन सा रोल किस तरीके से हमें टाइटन जो होता है जो टाइप्स ऑफ टाइटन होते हैं जो कौन से रोल के लिए सूटे हो, सूटेबल होते हैं अब देखा जाए तो थेन जो है थेन मेलो कोमेगा ये है टैंक के रोल ये टैंक के रोल सूटेबल होते हैं बॉटम लेन के लिए एट द मोमेंट जो बॉटम लेन कहा जाता है वो है अपना इस फोटोग्राफ में आप देखा जाए तो आपको बेसिकली बॉटम लेन मिलेगा बॉटम लेन मिलेगा आपको अबिसल लेन अबिसल लेन में जनरली टैंक और एमएम प्रिवेल करते हैं टैंक और एमएम आपको यहाँ देखने को मिलेंगे अगर आप देख सकते हैं टैंक और एमएम टैंक ये सारे टैंक होते हैं आप अपने टाइटन के स्क्रीन पर जाके छेद मेलो कोमेगा ग्रैक मीना तारा स्कर्ड और नंबर आठ और इन्हें टैंक कहा जाता है ये थोड़े से आ, उनके बाद हेल्थ ज्यादा होती है वो अलग अलग सीसी से खेलते हैं ताकि वो एम जैसी मार्क्समैन एम एम हम शॉर्ट फॉर्म में एम एम कहेंगे एम जैसे हीरोज को सपोर्ट कर सके टैंक और सपोर्ट एक ही रोल का होता है बट सपोर्ट में आप देखा जाए तो टैंक का और सपोर्ट में डिफरेंस अंतर आपको समझ आएगा टैंक में रॉक्सी है लेकिन सपोर्ट में रॉक्सी इज अ टैंकी प्लेयर मतलब रॉक्सी आपको टैंकीनेस देती है लेकिन सपोर्ट कास्ट में रॉक्सी जनरली खेलती है अलावा आपको देखना जाएगा मैलो मैलो टैंक होता है लेकिन सपोर्ट कैरेक्टर में नहीं आता ये डिफरेंस होता है की सपोर्ट और टैंक की सपोर्ट जो होता है वो आपके एम को सी देता है ताकि आपके एम को सेव करता है आपके एम को हेल्प करता है जंगल लेने में मिनियंस uh, को लेने में और वो सपोर्ट आइटम का रोल बिहेव uh, करता है वेर एज अ टैंक जान हालांकि टैंक जो होता है वो बेसिकली आपको एक टैंकी फील होता है बट वो वॉरियर जैसा बिहेव करता है वो टैंकी होता है गेम के अंदर लेकिन वो वॉरियर जैसा बिहेव करता है वो जैसे तारा तारा जो है वो टैंक है और सपोर्ट और मीना हो गई मीना अच्छी सपोर्ट भी है लेकिन तारा मीना जो है सपोर्ट बेटर रोल करती है मोर देन दैट ऑफ तारा बट इफ यू गो टू दिस यू विल नॉट फाइंड मीना एंड तारा इन 
Mina, you will find a support but not Tara. So you see that's the difference. Who had difference Antar between tank and support? Now that we have they have that out of the way, let us understand what is the lane description. So if we go back to the uh, go back to the menu where we are talking about the lanes and what is the lane description? The lane is described by the spawning of the minions and the jungle and the dragons. So the lane is described. अगर आप उल्टा देखोगे तो ऊपर से जाओगे तो आपको देखने में लगेगा जो red है, red का जो आपको दिख रहा है, थोड़ा सा अगर अगर आप देख सकते हैं, तो top का जो top का जो side है, वो red का जो X marks का situation है, उसके अंदर आप देखेंगे तो red spawn होता है top side में और अगर उनका blue spawn होता है bottom side में। अगर आप red side की lane में हो तो अगर आप ब्लू साइड की लेन में हो तो ब्लू जो है टॉप साइड आएगा और रेड जो है बॉटम साइड आएगा और अगर आप रेड ब्लू साइड देखेंगे तो आपका ड्रैगन स्लेयर जो पर्पल वाला आपका जो आ, देख सकते हैं ड्रैगन जो ड्रैगन का कंपार्टमेंट वो आपका टॉप साइड आएगा और जो ऑरेंज का कंपार्टमेंट है बॉटम साइड में वो है अबिसल ड्रैगन साइड लेन का सो so, इससे हमके यही सीखने को मिलता है कि देखिए रेड साइड जब आप पैदा होते हैं तो अबिसल टॉप साइड पे आता है और अगर ब्लू साइड पैदा होते हो तो बॉटम साइड पे अबिसल आता है तो उस हिसाब से देखा जाए तो आपको उस हिसाब से लेन का लेन को जाना पड़ता है इफ यू आर इन द रेड साइड देन यू विल टेक द एमएम एंड द दिस थिंग टू द टू द बॉटम साइड ऑल बॉटम साइड इज ऑलवेज द एमएम बट द टॉप साइड इज द एमएमस लेन एंड द लेन whereas the tank goes into the bottom the tank goes in the in the top for the blue side and the uh, bottom for the red side so both side are divided by a river river hame two side divide karta hai dono teams ko divide karti hai river pe aur agar aap dekhenge to uh, let us describe the lane lane 1 sabse pehla upar wala lane let us discuss this from the blue side perspective lane 1 which is the bottom lane the bottom lane which is the mm and the jungler lane because when you are on the blue side the abyssal dragon is on the blue side and the red buff is on the blue side so the abyssal dragon becomes the important factor for you to envision to know which lane you are going so abyssal dragon is mainly the side of the lane where the mm marksman and the support go to. generally the top in the blue side the top is always given the dragon slayer side so it's called the dragon slayer which means the ds laner or the dragon side so the ds laner goes on the top where the ds is about to form they are also technically the jungle side as well if we just uh, decree if we just uh, go ahead and continue the video you can see that the as we explained the slayer lane is the top lane for the blue side the slayer lane is the top lane the middle lane is the middle lane the abyssal dragon lane is where the abyssal dragon is spawned the slayer lane is where the dragon spawned the slayer dragon is spawned so that is why the lanes are so and so said to be those kind of name the full intermittent between the lane is called the jungle okay the jungle is the part between the lanes where the creeps the minions are formed the minions are the, uh, the creeps are formed the buffs are formed there are two buffs which is the red buff and the blue buff. and it is majorly the place where the jungler is supposed to main the jungler is supposed to make his farming the jungler is supposed to form the lane the jungler is for, uh, supposed to do his farming in those lanes that part is known as the jungle lane if you can see i have highlighted the parts where the jungler is supposed to be right now is some extra gap please do. as you can see in the image the red line is dividing the factors between the two factions which is the blue team and the red the jungler is the jungle aspect so that that is the jungle part of a part of the lane there is something called a jungle so the jungle is where the jungler is generally farming to create his build and to move forward in the game and also if the jungler is taken more jungle than he's supposed to he will be supporting his teammates to reach higher levels of potency when he is actually playing in the game 
let us just look now at the titans that are known as junglers in the game they are also known as assassins in this game they are nothing but junglers the assassins are the reason not all assassins are proper jungler not all because there are some warriors also who jungle really in the game they might be warriors but they are thorough thorough junglers for example Tanis is a great warrior but he is actually technically a great jungler Kilgrod is not a jungler he is actually a warrior going in the top DS lane but he is also a good jungler Butterfly is a thorough and thorough great jungler. He she is generally picked for the jungling aspect of things, and you can find her as a warrior as well in, as an assassin. So is Zuka. So is Yan. So is Wukong. But you will not find Wukong as a warrior in this mix. He is not a warrior. He is a thorough and thorough assassin, a jungler based hero. Warriors are one of those mid between warriors are heroes which are in between an assassin and in between a tank role which which they which they are little bit tanky and they have also got damage so those are called warriors so if you see in the warrior list we have a Xanis we have Zuka we have Kilgroth we have Butterfly Elaine Arthur Malak Yan Lubu Tara Scud Ayri Emily Ardrin Ast GFS Omen, Rorke, Ror, uh, Roxy and me. In this entire list of warriors, if you want to be very specific about the role that you are supposed to take, you should rather choose to support. Warrior is a broaded uh, a term given to this situation. A warrior is not necessarily a jungler. If you go to the assassin pick, these assassins are generally majorly junglers. Each and every one in the assassin picks are known as jungler. Absolutely thorough and thorough jungler. So you have Zuka Butterfly, Yan, Wukong Rad, en Enzo Ayri, Nakroth, Murad Zil, Kriknak, Astrid, Zephyrus, Liliana, Quillen, Ira, and Aoi. These are all assassin based uh, uh, junglers. The thing is, you have to understand that all of these heroes are not particularly. Uh, mages or mms or warriors or tanks or support so there is a multiple casting in this uh, in this list in assassin a zil technically he is a mage assassin he has got a mage damage so his build is according to that so when we are coming to those kind of situations i will explain to you what they are zuka uh, to be honest, if we go all, I will quickly explain what is a what situation. Janice is a warrior assassin. Zuka is a, a warrior assassin. Kilgroth is a warrior assassin. Tain is a support and a tank. Butterfly is an assassin, a warrior assassin. Ruilda is an uh, uh, MM, marksman. Alain is a warrior, a pure and thorough warrior. He can also sometimes jungle, but he is an assassin. This is a, a marksman, Telanus is a marksman, Trixie is a mage, Yuchan is a mage, Arthur is a warrior, Vera is a mage, Malak is a warrior and a tank, Hayate is a, a MM marksman, Yan is an assassin warrior, Omega is a tank and a support, Tapani is marksman, Valen is a marksman and a AP build mage. Violet is a marksman, Natalia is a mage, Grak is a support or a tank but technically is only a support, Slims is a marksman and an assassin, Marja is uh, a warrior and a mage, Wukong is an assassin, not a warrior, Mina is a, a Tank, Mina is also a warrior, Mina is also a Maganga is the mage, he is also an assassin, no he is not an assassin, he is only a mage, Raz is an assassin mage, Yura is a support or support, she is she's only a Lubu is a warrior, Enzo is an assassin, Lindis is a mage assassin, Tara is a tank as a warrior, Scut is a warrior, purebred warrior. Doriel is a mage, 
Minar is a mage. Aurum is a, a mage. A mage. Aurum is a mage. Aurum cannot be assassin. Aura can. Aurum can also be. Iri is an uh, a war. Nakroth is a purebred assassin. Elendor is a marksman assassin. Marksman assassin. Two different roles. Two different objectives. Murad is an assassin, not a warrior. Assassin, pure bird. Phoenix is an assassin. MM assassin. Morin is an Emily is a warrior assassin who can jungle as well as uh, do a warrior. Rion is a pure MM. Sil is a mage assassin, which means he is an assassin, but he is a mage. Kriknak is an assassin. You cannot play uh, Kriknak as a warrior. You should purely go for jungle if you are taking Kriknak because it's high amount of burst. Lumber is a pure support or a tank. He should not go tank. He should go as support. He should not be a warrior. He should be a support. Alice is a support. Roaming, then a Evan. Illumina is a mage. Adruin is a warrior, which means he can also go DS and he's also a support. He can go as a support for the. Timmy is a Astrid is a warrior as well as a support. Best is a support, not a DS laner, so he cannot go warrior. He is only a support. Alistair is a pure mage. Tephis is a, a jungler, which means an assassin and a, and a DS laner. You can do Tephis both roles. Azenka is a mage. Ormar can be both warrior and a support. Basically, warrior and a support, not a tank. Uh, oh, sorry, a tank also. Ormar is a tank also, but he is technically taken as a war. He is not in the list. So let's take him as a let's take him as a tank and take him as a support. Ignis is a mage. Tulin is a mage and also a who's in the meta. Omen is a DS laner. He is not. He is the only one of the most only heroes who can do. Uh, who can do no other role effectively apart from, apart from the DS laning role? Liliana is uh, assassin mage because she's got high burst damage. So if she does jungling, then she can definitely do even more damage than she's supposed to. Rourke is a warrior assassin. He is a jungler, so he go. He is a warrior also. He is not tanky. But he is also a Roxy is a pure bred warrior. He is not part of a Quillin is a pure bred. Annette is a pure bred support. Sometimes Annette can age because she's got age. Beerus is DS Ishar technically is, but generally people play Ishar with Kira is a pure bred. She's not a warrior. She's a pure bred assassin. Thorn. So very badly nerfed. Thorn is the but late game Thorn. If you have enough jungle, late game Thorn OP. He can also do Thorn. You know, also become a jungler along the marksman. La Lavel is the mark, and Lavel can hang only the marksman. Aoi is a jungler. She is an assassin. Aoi is an assassin. She is not a warrior. She is quite squishy. So Aoi is majorly an assassin. Yui is purely a pure, pure bred monarch. Let me just finish answering questions. Lane in general mindset of low rank players. So uh, low rank players generally have this mindset of always uh, trying to farm. No, no, not farm, but low rank players are generally have the mindset of because they don't have heroes one, so they are very short listed when it comes to heroes. So they can't really flex themselves in terms of taking roles that they don't understand. They are generally stuck to MM or Mage or Support. They are not really well versed with the Warrior kind of builds or Warrior kind of things or Jungle kind of situations. So they also sometimes are only Jungle players or known players who are uh, coming through and becoming uh, part of the game, coming from a previous version of the game. Also do Jungle first time and so that they can push their rank themselves and push it forward. The most common mistakes made by these situations, uh, most common mistakes made by these guys are taking multiple uh, uh, similar roles by mistake or otherwise in situations where a full team needs to be handled in terms of uh, 
you know uh, making themselves available for all players to handle the lanes properly so you need definitely five roles in this game if you do not have any of these five roles you are imbalanced in the game sometimes yes uh, sometimes only very sometimes you might uh, be coming up on a on a on a role which is also a support system like a, a mage can also play a support system but then the mage has to be a lot of cc which has count uh, count crowd control mage so they can help with the mm and help the mid laner to really gain an upper hand but otherwise uh, these are the most common mistakes that they take two mms or they take two mages or they take an imbalanced imperfect situation where they are able to make mistakes and those are the one of the most common mistakes that you can see sometimes also the most common mistake i have seen the most highest common mistake is that even though they've taken uh, roles but they do not know any sort of arcanas they do not know what to buy very early game players are very someone very new to this game doesn't know what to buy or purchase what boots to take what what build to make what is the situation that they have to what kind of role they are playing and what kind of uh, character they are playing so what kind of role they are supposed to play so i will i've already explained in the previous game when they are taking that kind of a role at the bottom where to check how to make your build and what are the common builds you have to take and the suggested builds so take one of the suggested build at least so that you have something in the process of purchasing also do not forget keep your um, battlefield settings keep your this thing on so that you can automatically buy quick buy info is very important quick buy info is basically taking your uh, what you are coming up next you see these two items that you will get that's your quick buy info and uh, a diamond lobby mein teen mm one mage one warrior sa khelta hai na yes that is one of the most problem problematic situation they take three mms one mage and one warrior so there's no support there is no uh, uh jungler so that is the situation that you need to uh be wary about if you know the game you can definitely be the jungler at that point but if someone actually takes the jungler and knows the game a little bit even then you should take a support role and try and help your teammates out who are really new to the game okay and coming to the uh, coming to the items you see these uh, for the lower level players you see these items short dagger and dagger this means you have your already you have purchased some upcoming item you purchase you got enough money to actually purchase these items so please go ahead and purchase items i have seen many people actually play the entire game without even making the entire build without making the build you will not really be able to come up and take up the uh your you can't play to the full potential that you can okay and uh, what did we want to fps we want to what are they talking about we want to be able to automatically buy the items where is automatically buying items as we need to say so okay so this is another thing that you need to understand for uh, for this is for advanced players who have already played this before so already advanced players for this so if you want to put a skill on a specific hero you can do it, use it this way all you need to do is click on your item and then push and drag and and swipe to the advanced you will ultimate only on that person instead of ultimating on anyone who is closest to you so this is an important thing that new players should be aware of uh in battle description should be on close the void uh, close the void i no uh where is that item maybe it might be in the game so let's just go inside the game and then figure out how that works what are the most pick heroes in a said bracket and how to counter them a uh, situational build so what are the most pick heroes majorly is valheim majorly is the mm roles are the most pick heroes the mages are the most pick heroes uh 
to counter those mages you need a high burst damage uh, uh either a high burst damage jungler or a high burst damage marksman so these two are most of if you can pick any of these two roles in this situation first all or always you need to understand like i told you before jungle 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 build 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 and uh gold 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 these are two major items if you can get those two in check before the enemy does you can actually take your gameplay forward and go for a win contents okay let us discuss about what titan goes in what lane okay what are tanks tanks are nothing but support creatures support walo ko hum log kehte hain tank ke alawa support wale bhi aise hote hain jo hum log ko pure support bhi hote hain ab agar hum dekhe koi ek support lenge support mein bhi variety alag type ke supports hote hain jaise ishar ko le lo ye ek mage support hai अगर आप क्रेस्ट लोगे ये प्रॉपर टैंक सपोर्ट है आप अगर मेज के अंदर जाओगे तो भी आपको ईशा देखिए तो ओ, तो नहीं हाँ ईशा देखिए तो आप देख सकते हो कि ईशा दोनों जगह है सपोर्ट हल हर टाइपोलॉजी के जो होते हैं जैसे असैसन हो गया मेज हो गया मार्क्समैन हो गया टैंक हो गया सपोर्ट इनमें से कोई एक स्पेसिफिक रोल के लिए बना होता है उसका नाम होता है सपोर्ट इनमें से जो भी स्पेसिफिक रोल होता है इनका वो टाइपोलॉजी में वो आते हैं तो मेजरली सपोर्ट टैंक्स भी हो सकते हैं और वो लोग जब सपोर्ट आइटम बना लेते हैं उसको सपोर्ट सपोर्ट माना जाता है टैंक जनरली आप दोनों लेन में खेल सकते हो सपोर्ट के जैसे भी खेल सकते हो और आप डी एस लेन भी कर सकते हो वॉरियर के रोल पर भी जा सकते हो वो होते हैं अलग टाइप ऑफ टैंक्स जैसे मैलॉक ले लगे थोड़ा सा वॉरियर टाइप टैंक है ये टैंकी भी है और वॉरियर टाइपोलॉजी भी है इसका तो अब चलते हैं थोड़ा बिल्ड की तरफ सपोर्ट्स के बिल्ड क्या होती है क्या बनाना पड़ता है सपोर्ट बिल्ड बेसिकली इस गेम के अंदर अगर आपको नॉर्मल बिल्ड किसी की भी बनानी है तो आप बेसिकली कोई भी जा सकते हो आप बेसिकली इसका आर्मरी में जाओगे तो आप ऐसे बिल्ड देख सकते हो मैं अभी कोई भी नॉर्मल बिल्ड के अंदर इनको जनरली एक डिफॉल्ट बिल्ड बना लेता हूँ डिफॉल्ट बिल्ड कैसे बनाते मैं दिखाता हूँ आपको सजेस्टेड में जाएंगे पॉपुलर में जाएंगे तो सबसे पहला वाला आपके हिसाब से कोई भी ये बिल्ड आप खरीद लोगे इसमें से आप कोई भी एक बिल्ड आप नॉर्मल बिल्ड बना सकते हो ये हो गया क्रेस्ट के लिए हर एक बंदे के लिए एक नॉर्मल बिल्ड जो होती है वो अलग टाइप की होती है देखिए एट द मोमेंट क्लासिफिकेशन में रिकमेंड आया नहीं है इस गेम के अंदर बट आप पॉपुलर बिल्ड के अंदर कोई भी एक रोल बना सकते हो अपने बेस बना लो सबसे पहले अपने बेस बना ली आप जब बेस बना लोगे जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल इन दोनों बिल्ड के अंदर सिर्फ एक ही फर्क है फर्क सिर्फ जूतों का है बट बाकी सारे बिल्ड सेम है तो अगर आप इसकी से इसके साथ ही जाते हो तो मैं नंबर फोर बिल्ड को मैंने क्रेस्ट के लिए बना लिया और मैंने उसको सेट डिफॉल्ट कर दिया तो ये बिल्ड को मैं जरा नाम भी एडिट कर देता हूँ इसको जाके इसके बिल्ड के अंदर नाम एडिट कर दो पेंसिल के आइटो आइकॉन से नाम एडिट कर दो एडिटेड बिल्ड अपने लिए मैं एडिटेड बिल्ड लग देता हूं और इसको एडिटेड बिल्ड में यूज करूंगा अब देखिए जरा फटाफट हम जाते हैं इसकी बिल्ड की तरफ आप जब गिल्डे ब्रीज बनाते हो तो ये बेसिकली ये अलाउ कर देता है कि फटाफट वो उसका पैसिव रेजिस्टेंस जो पैसिव होता है किसी चीज का और मूवमेंट स्पीड भी मिलता है और ये मैजिक डिफेंस भी देता है मैजिक डिफेंस के लिए गिल्डे ड्रिल बनाना चाहिए नॉर्मल अटैक के इससे बचने के लिए आर्मर मिलता है और इसका यूनिक है नॉर्मल अटैक डैमेज टेकन बाई फिफ्टीन परसेंट रेड्यूसेस मतलब आप एमएम से बच सकते हैं फ्लैशी बुट्स के लिए आपको कूल डाउन एक्स्ट्रा मिलता है मैजिक पियर्स के लिए आपको मूवमेंट स्पीड ज्यादा मिलती है वॉल बुट्स के अटैक स्पीड मिलता है तो जनरली टैंक के लिए जो होता है वो आप गिल्डेड ग्रीज बनाओगे और सोनिक बूट्स बनाओगे इस मूवमेंट पे हमने सोनिक बूट बनाएंगे वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर टैंक बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट चीज होती है टैंक के लिए सही विजन आइटम बनाना सही आइटम बनाना ये आइटम जो होता है इसको बोलते हैं सपोर्ट आइटम ये आपको सपोर्ट के अंदर एलिमेंटरी गिल्ड फर्स्ट आइटम हो जाती है सपोर्ट आपके सामने एक टैंक आता है जो आपको सपोर्ट आइटम उस हिसाब से उसको जैसे मेज आ जाए गया सपोर्ट आइटम हो गया तो सामने अगर मेज आ गई टैंक की मेज आ गया 
या क्रैक आ गया या क्राउड कंट्रोल देने वाला स्टन करने वाला सीसी देने वाला कोई हीरो आ गया उसके लिए आप फटाफट आप क्लेंजिंग बना सकते हैं मदर एथ क्लेंजिंग देखिए अगले अगर अलग अलग रोल के लिए अलग अलग हिसाब से उनको यहाँ पर सपोर्ट आइटम दे रखा है जैसे फायर जेम वॉरियर सपोर्ट के लिए लिया जाता है जहां पर आप जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओमेन सॉरी ओमेन ओके स्टार्ट अगेन जैसे ये फायर जेम वॉरियर सपोर्ट के लिए लिया जाता है जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर मैं वॉरियर यहाँ पर चेंज करूँ सपोर्ट आइटम देख के टैंक में जाऊँ अगर मैं ओरमार के लिए ले लूँ तो उसके लिए फायर जेम लेना जरूरी होता है तो पहला आइटम हम लोग बेस से बना लेते हैं फायर जेम और हम दे देते हैं इसको क्लेंजिंग फायर क्लेंजिंग ले लेते हैं उसके लिए फिर आगे के सारे जो डिफेंस आइटम्स है वो सारे डिफेंस आइटम जो होते हैं ये सारे चीजें हमारे सपोर्ट्स के लिए यूज होता है तो जनरली हम बनाएंगे इसके लिए मेंटल ऑफ रहा क्योंकि वो जब इसका कैपेसिट जो है पहले तो एक हजार एच पी ज्यादा देता है प्लस पर फाइव सेकेंड देता है एक्स्ट्रा हील मिलती है जैसे और टू ट्वेंटी फाइव आर्मर भी मिलता है इसके अलावा ये डील्स इक्वल टू टू परसेंट ऑफ टाइटन मैक्स एक्स मैजिक डैमेज भी देता है एंड इट ऑल्सो डील्स फिफ्टी परसेंट मोर डैमेज टू मीडियम एंड वाइल्डिंग्स इट्स अ गुड आइटम टू हैव बेसिकली अब मूवमेंट आइटम सेकेंड आइटम हमेशा मूवमेंट आइटम बनाना चाहिए सो विलेज में मूवमेंट आइटम फॉर एम ही इज मोर ऑन द फ्लैशी बुट साइड ऑफ ऑफ अ हीरो अगर ज्यादा सीसी है तो फिर ग्रेनेड ड्रीज बना लेना बट जनरली फ्लैशी बुट से आपको पुल डाउन रिडक्शन पंद्रह परसेंट मिलता है सो यू आर यू आर बेनिफिटेड फ्रॉम दैट नेक्स्ट थिंग यू नीड टू मेक इज डायर एज सॉरी मेल ऑफ पेन फॉर ओरमार यू नीड टू मेक मडालियन ऑफ ट्रॉय मैजिक डिफेंस एंड देन डाया स्टैंडर्ड या तुम ब्लेड ऑफ इटर्निटी बना सकते हो इट डिपेंड्स ऑन द सिचुएशन ब्लेड ऑफ इटर्निटी नथिंग बट यू कैन बी रीबॉर्न इवन आफ्टर यू डाई ओडिन गुड आइटम वेन यू मेक मूवमेंट स्पीड के लिए तुमको और चाहिए हो या मेल ऑफ पेन की जगह पे ओडिन बना सकते हो या हर के लिए जो मैडनेस भी बना सकते हो जनरली ये टाइटन को है ना थोड़े से एक्स्ट्रा पॉइंट बन जाते हैं इसको बेसिकली सेव कर लिया और डिफॉल्ट की जगह बना लिया ओडिन को पहले बना देते हैं इसको शिफ्ट कर सकते हैं अप्लाई किया और ये और मार की बिल्ड बन गई है हम लोग जाते हैं वापस हमारे सपोर्ट में और हम बना रहे थे क्रेस्ट की बिल्ड और क्रेस्ट की बिल्ड के हिसाब से देखा जाए तो ये हमने मैंटल ऑफ का बना लिया विच इज वेरी गुड ये जो लास्ट वाले आइटम्स हैं वो बेसिकली आपको बनाने पड़ते हैं ये लास्ट के तीन जो आइटम हैं वो बेसिकली फुल आइटम्स होते हैं थोड़े से चीपर आइटम्स है नाइनटीन फोर्टी इट इज ऑलमोस्ट इक्वल टू द लास्ट आइटम सो दैट दे हैव टू शिफ्टेड इट टू दिस लास्ट थ्री आइटम्स इन एनी बिल्ड इज परफेक्ट लाइक दैट चलो अब जाते हैं दूसरे रोल के अंदर मार्क्समैन रोल मार्क्समैन रोल इज वन ऑफ रोल विच आर एम एम बोलते हैं इनको मार्क्समैन रोल के अंदर जाते हैं तो इधर मैंने किसी का बनाया नहीं है तो ब्रोल्डा का बना लेते हैं फटाफट सेम कॉन्सेप्ट सेम सीन गिल्ड ग्रेव्स टू सेव देम फ्रॉम सी सी एंड देन अटैक आइटम अटैक आइटम में सबसे पहले क्लेव सेंटी बना जाता है अगर आप चाहे तो क्लेव सेंटी को पहले कर ले ताकि आपका वैसे ही बूट्स बन जाते हैं पैसे आइटम से सो so, लेट्स गो गिल्डेड ग्रीव्स अटैक आइटम क्रीव सेंटी सामने हम लोग थोड़ा सा इनको डॉनिंग स्टार दे देते हैं डॉनिंग स्टार दिया डॉनिंग स्टार का नॉर्मल अटैक अटैक स्पीड और क्रिटिकल चांस होता है वेर एज क्योर्स बॉ इज ओनली नॉर्मल अटैक एंड अटैक स्पीड सो फोर्टी नॉर्मल टेन अटैक फिफ्टी नॉर्मल टेन अटैक थर्टी अटैक सो डॉनिंग स्टार इज द बेटर आइटम टू कीप But if you want to quickly buy something for immediate purposes, then you go chaos pro and then shift that to a uh, a, a dawning star. So first you make the uh, chaos bow, then you make a dawning star, and you shift the chaos bow into a into a probably a muramasa or a fafni talon. Fafni talon good to keep and uh, penry stone no. After the last item for a mm purse always you should keep in your belt in blade of eternity. After that you can change it to something. After losing plane of eternity, then you can immediately change it in game. Okay. Let's go to another hero, which is a mage hero. I have already explained the MM build and the uh, tank build. So for MM build, most of the items you have to buy are from the attack, and for the and one defense item which is very fruitful is the plane of eternity. Some of the uh, some of the titans also usually use frost cape in late game because they can generally have a little bit of armor and their X XP is also HP is also increased a little bit. So there, in that case, you can absorb a little bit of physical damage also. So frost cape also is a good item late game. 
any which way. So let's change and get to the mage build. So for Trixie, uh, generally you go magic, it's clearly written here. So first go for a boomstick, then go for a movement which is your gilded greaves, or even enchant, uh, enchanted this thing. So you get enchanted and then magic may boomstick, then you go hackatish the item. I will you up dekh sakte hai iske bare mein details kya hai iske iske related kya ability power hai kya hai I am not going to go through that up read kar lena iske bare mein uh, staff of null is a good item because staff of null gives you against counter against tanks it's really really written uh, it is basically magic magical penetration unke jo white color ke bars aa jate hai usko penetrate karke usko fir bhi maarne ki koshish karta hai iske baad aap ja sakte ho tomb of reaper in case required पिक्सी के ऊपर वर्चुअस नेकलेस अच्छा रहता है बट क्या कर सकते हैं ये वर्चुअस ब्रेसलेट लेके से आपने आपका माना रिडक्शन जल्दी हो जाता है तो बेसिकली इट्स अ गुड आइटम टू कीप बट देन यू हैव टू चेंज इट अगेन लेटर सो माइट एज वेल नॉट बाय इट अनदर थिंग यू कैन बाय इज एन आर्टिक फॉर्म अ सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक अ टेम्पररी डिफेंस आइटम एंड देन लास्ट आइटम यू कैन मेक फॉर हर इज और वो मैच है दैट इज अ कंप्लीट टैंक मेज बिल्ड different kind of mage have different kind of builds so if i check any other mage right now just for this thing if i check uh, the build here see majorly are the same items have been used only in differentiation of location so jab pehle sabse pehle aap item bana rahe ho to wo different location ki differentiation ke hisab se usko change ho jata hai basically boomstick is a very good first item because it's a it's a low purchase 1880 plus 300 plus 1880 plus 820 plus 1800 so and all the mage is 500 plus 1900 so relatively speaking orb of magic is a good item to keep first but then generally kya ho jata hai you see you can also always check what the suggested item is and then go to popular and then choose your item the first item okay that is your fault we have done tank we have done mage we have done mm let's go finally for the warriors warriors are supposed to be a little tanky as well as damage so let's go with uh A kill growth. A kill growth has a specific passive. He has a specific passive which allows him to heal. So you should not go magic with him. You should either go attack or a defense. Defense you should go mantle of rod definitely with uh, this thing. But I think that is the third item. The movement you should keep it with gilded trees because you don't want to be caught up. The best thing to do with is a dias for a kill growth. Um, Hyoga's edge with edge with the kill growth is great. And lastly, a uh, cross cape or a mail of pain should do well. The first item should be an attack, probably a Papnir Talon, or maybe even a um, a rank breaker. Okay. Uh, they need to actually customize this and make these fonts a little smaller so you can read the entire thing. But generally, uh, this is what the build of. uh kill your all about you can just recheck your build once again if you go to the this thing this is a jungle item which i'll come to next uh so kill your can be used for jungle but if you if you want you can see the suggestion uh, you can see the jungler sustain damage burst serial damage which is a kind of jungle item damage dealer heals so you see he's got a beast in the this thing and he's got a gaia also and a and a shield of loss so we can definitely take a cue from that and take a beast instead of uh, so he get a little bit of damage as well there you go and i'm going last two items are tanky because my uh, uh, this thing is a little bit of tanky build and that is about warriors see every warrior will have a definitely a different build what you need to do be very careful about is when you are building these these, these heroes just check it with the check it with the suggested build one so that you are going in the right direction but also these builds need to be very very thought about because it will help you uh, make a particular build according to your play style theek okay? hai last and not the, uh, last and finally is the assassin class or the uh, warrior class which does jungling so in the assassin class we have pulling for example if i'm taking the pulling uh the first item i will take is if i see the suggested you can see he is an assassin jungle burst jungle serial and jungle hunter uh see a jungler is generally very very this thing so a uh, jungler is also a very very high attack and high critical this thing so cleave sanity is a very high critical item first you should take uh, cleave uh, sanity you go get it grief then so you don't caught up you don't get caught up and anyway, you can't uh, this thing cannot fight him so either you can go gilded greaves or war boots it depends on how your play style 
Uh, next item is a very important item which you need to take is your um, uh, you can just uh, the jungle item is very important. Always make a jungle item first with any jungler that you are picking. Leviathan is a tanky jungle item, whereas a soul winger is a very very uh, uh, damage dealing uh, support item. Soul reaver is one of the best jungle items out there. If you have a warrior kind of jungle item and you need to keep a little tanky build with a leviathan, so example like a, a butterfly needs a leviathan more than a soul reaver. So let's go for uh, uh, Soul Reaver on Quillen because he can run away very easily and he doesn't need to be a very tanky hero. Scorching Wind is for MM kind of uh, jungle items. Uh, for a MM kind of. So if you are a jungler like a Slims or if you are a jungler like a, a um, Elendor, there you are making Scorching Wind ka jungle item. Loki Skurs and jungler at the uh, Loki Skurs is when you are making. A, a mage like a zil is a jungle uh, jungle mage and uh, later on you might get pain and other heroes so there is when you should be a loki's curse right now after the jungle item what you need to take is probably an attack item which probably can do like a beast or an omnia omnia is basically you have a difference between omnias and beasts a beast has a normal attack which is thing and a life steal is 25 uh, percent. This lifestyle does not really work on minions as such, but it does work on a normal. Uh, this is a 100 normal attack, whereas this has a 70 normal attack. This beast can give you uh, a, a lifestyle on hitting the heroes, whereas a, a, a Omni Arm will give you a lifestyle or life uh, increase when you attack the minions. That is the difference between Omni Arm normal and the beast normal. Omniams is a little more expensive item, whereas the beast is a little more cheap item. The benefit of Omniams is you get 70% no, normal, 70 plus normal. You get attack speed and cooldown reduction on your item. So definitely Omniams uh, compared to the beast uh, is, is a better on Quillin. So we will take an Omniams. It also has power, elemental power after using skill the next normal attack within 5 seconds. Uh, deals 100% more physical damage. Which means on minions you are doing more physical damage as well as on heroes you are doing physical damage. And the cooldown time is 2, two seconds. In game you can see that the cooldown timer and th that will show you the unique passive of the Omni Arms. Apart from that it also increases attack increase movement speed by 10%. So that is a definitely good item to keep. Uh, next you can go for uh, uh, in, the, in the list you can go for uh, um, Fenris Tooth or even a normal attack. Suppose you are uh, confused what to take. You can always go to the popular scene. Omni Arms and a, and a Rhine Breaker is what they are suggesting you to take. If not, you are going Fenris too. So, uh, I would also suggest the same either a Rhine Breaker or a Fenris too. Fenris too is a very high uh, because you are get 200% to normal attack and a Rhine Breaker will give you only 110% normal attack but it gives you 10% movement decrease and uh, armor penetration as well. So I would rather go with the sink. If you are going with Quillin and you can passive move out, passive move out, passive in, in the sense ult, you kill someone, you move your ult and you go out then and you are such kind of a player where you are looking for multiple kills then go for Fenris. But if you are looking to uh, slow down the kills and, and the kind of a gameplay then you go for rank breaker. Last item you can take is a defense item which is your blade of eternity. Set and set as default. Okay. Always, you can recheck your list and this thing and check. Suppose you want to switch from a Blade of Inertia to and you can take Muramasa as your last item. Muramasa as your last item. Cool. So here now I have explained all the kind of builds that you have with Mage, with Support, with MM, with Jungler, Warrior and Support Tank. Alright. to ban.
Good bands, good bands all around. Meta bands, very good. Opponent's turn to pick. It's your turn to pick. I will see my destiny to the end. To pick. Your team's to Clash of Titans! Prepare to engage. Behold! So, we do have a balanced team right now. Uh, From this, maybe we can do something, maybe we can't. Good roaming. I'm a little tired, I think. Might is right. I'm actually so chata thoda sa usko apna aaj mission complete kar lenge. Fir fir kya hoga nahi karega. Mind hai wo to bol. Executed. Bas khel lete thode jee. I got two of them. Bro, you are champion. Pe hai. I can't really uh, join with you. Niraj. An ally has been defeated.
Oh, timing. So that was his enchantment that came into play. That's why I died. No, diamond or this thing. So be nahi banti hai. Thanks, bro. Wait, I'll show more outplays. Hold on, <laughs> I'll show more outplays. You guys are acting too smart. And look at where my uh, OP support is. Chilling in the top, trying to take kills. Maybe, maybe not. Alia has come to my rescue. My support is like a guard. But can't help you in the game. Just me and Natalia herself. Help! 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 Ouch! Is it okay now? Is it better now? My audible better than before. Shut down. I'm increasing the volume a little more, so maybe uh, this is better. This is better. This is better. Yes, I think now it might be better, right? So lower rank gam gameplays are like this only, where you need to still continue taking your objectives. Your role needs to be understanding of where you're going to take your role, positioning, and what kind of players are going to come to get you. Keep farming. Farming is the most important thing aspect of the game. As long as you farm, you're able to defend yourself from people. So and take fights towards people you know you can take fights with, or else. There is no saving you. Know when to take your fights. Know who to take your fights with. You see over here, I'm trying to just farm. That's it. That's all I'm going to do is just farm for a little while so that I can actually get the items to defend myself. I've almost got enough items to defend myself. Take a tank also because I got my Muramasa. Okay, she is 
Trying to take my kill. I took the tower. You see here right now because I've got higher stop, I'm able to take them by two shots, three shots. Taken all the towers and got me, and we're gonna finish the game. That's about it. One of the most epic things you can do while you're actually taking any kind of uh, player when you're taking on a Smurf account or actually you new player, take an MM which you can actually have enough damage. You should farm. The idea of the MM is to farm properly so that you can actually take it forward and be able to generate kills for your team so that even if someone is lagging behind, they are able to actually support you. Not they, see, you are able to support them, be the carry, be the real carry of the game. In this game, you see, uh, Batang Girl, apparently Batang Girl was not able to really do anything because he was trying to jungle but maybe he was a new player he tried to jungle and was not able to really jungle the way he wanted to even though he had full jungle I did not touch his jungle nobody touched his jungle but still he did not have his focus on the right objectives which is why he could not really support his team in terms of getting his kills jungler's idea is to take kills jungler's idea is to be able to manage to take kills as much as possible Right. See, it's platinum to veteran leader, so you can't join me here. Moving. So after the update, did you guys like the uh, changes apart from the? Um, Your team's turn to ban. Did the lobby ban make any difference? Quickly ban tank crack. We don't want him causing a problem. Let's take down the assassin, which is the sill, which will be a problem for the MM. So your bans should be pretty accurate when you're taking a smaller level uh, position. Your Try and ban to pick. things that you're afraid of, that you can't really do it. Hmm, do you really like the new update, is it? Good to know. It's your turn to pick. Okay, Valen's gone. We have Pyora in the game. We have a Xanus coming up now. Really. And... Your team's turn to pick. Might as well take jungle when we have it. Opponent's Building the build pick. is important. So let's take the top of build. I already have to build process this perfect. I'll just say thing. Generally what you need to do is basically always check out the entire enchantment package and you got the most suggested whether it's a popular really build or a popular build too. And also the build that you have, always check it once with your normal popular build, even though you have it done and we have attack speed in place 
for now because I need the speed to basically handle the enemies. Let's go! Welcome to Clash of Titans! To engage. So let's see if I can do a flawless victory on this one. So we have a balanced team for sure. Victory is for the bold. Look at Arthur, look at Arthur, look at Arthur, look at Arthur, look at Arthur. He goes in for the kill and he dies himself within the tower. What's up, crazy boy? How you doing, bro? Look at Lumber. Only the righteous will prevail. Why have I not caught in my? While hitting the damage to the dragon, when he does that swipe thing, just move your S2. See, he'll cancel the S2 halfway. Everybody's taking a fight, so I might as well take the blue. So the blue can be available to someone else. Possibly. An enemy has been defeated. You have defeated an enemy. I don't know how I already have lifesteal because I have not taken any items to take lifesteal but yes I do have lifesteal right now so I can notice that when I am handling the Yeah, right. All he needed to do was give it his. And he killed.
Oh man. I'm gonna live stream that. No, no, I'm gonna live stream that. Ultimate. I can I was not live stream. I am not even doing jungle lighting here. Your team has destroyed a tower. What did I make till now? I made Sonic boots and I made nothing else. So Arthur and Valine are pushing and taking the mid lane, taking down the tower of the mid lane. Though top is being pushed because nobody is there to handle that uh, pressure. But Valine is about to, I think Valine is going on top to take the tower. Valen is smart. Thank you, Valen, for not taking my jungle. Very rarely you get such kind of a situation where a Valen who's in the supporting, not supporting, as an MM, not taking your jungle, and he's letting you take your own. That's brilliant. Be happy about it and try and make use as much as you can so that you can finish your jungle so that he can start jungling as well because as long as if your mm starts to able to jungle and able to the single damage value that he might get is different level that was an outplay a little bit by Give them enough jungle for them to manage themselves now. Another reason is we are 28, so that's another reason why we are above and beyond the enemy scope of even playing with us. That's about it. You see?
Neeraj, no, I'm not found out anything about our next match, and I think we will not be playing good man. Andromeda uh, games anymore because I think uh, Silent and Satan both are busy, and we will not be able to continue playing with Andromeda. But we will see. Let's see. On the day of the match, maybe we might get some. At the moment, we have no. I have no idea about. Andromeda's next match or next game. Tonight we are going to rank up one sub tier at least. At least that's the that's the situation right now. We need to rank up one sub tier at least. All right. Uh, so I want to. If someone is going for the MM, let them go. I will take the jungler in that case. If let's see. So let's do the banning system correctly. So let's go ban a uh, Zil. He is a very very important ban to make because the MM cannot exist himself if a Zil is in play. And even a support, the best support, is difficult yes, against Zil because he's Zil has got like a, a a big challenge in front. So let's give him what he wants. Yuma wanted a this thing, so let's give him, give whoever what he wants, the role he wants to play because he's confident to be handling that role as much as possible. So give him what he wants. You try and see that you uh, give as many assists. So I will go for the uh, jungle road right now. So I will probably go for a uh, butterfly. Yeah. Last time I showed you a a, a Zanis build. Now I'm going to show you a butterfly build. So let's see. So yes, like like our chat says, Zil is a, is an alt CC free. So if he alts, his CC is not. He, no matter what CC you give, you will not be able to counter it. So it's a difficult thing to do uh, with Zil. So might as well just avoid Zil when you're playing him. Avoid Zil as much as possible. And when you are coming to the band section, so before you reach even the band sections, which are only in diamond situation, only in these sections you will be able to uh, ban your players. Before this, uh, like gold, platinum, and uh, other uh, uh, tiers, you will not you will not need to ban. So you can pick anything you want. Anything you like. The only thing is you have to be careful what you pick for. So now you see we have a very balanced system in place. We have a support. We have a mage. We have a a, a DS laner. We have a, a a jungler, and we have an marksman. In fact, the other team. There is no fault with the other team as well. So this is going to be a tough game. Let's see how it goes. Welcome to Clash of Titans. At the end of the day, no matter how you play, whether you are a lower tier or a higher tier, you should know your combos also when you are playing them. You should know your builds, you should know who you are against, up against. So knowing you are up against players to actually be able to handle yourself in the game is very important. You see TB and Raz are trying to gank on the, uh, the L'Oreal, though they will not be able to take the kill in such an early game situation, but yes. It is worth a shot. Trying to poke her down, get her damage. So that is so. You see, the enemy is just shifted their focus and trying to take the top tier. Where not uh, uh, top tier at this situation? To be honest, Scud will not be able to take both of them together. So technically, our uh, uh, teamy and uh, this thing should come down. I'm just trying to take a gank at them. Trying to push the health scud out. So you see, that's what happened in the first blood because Raz went in uh, way too early, and I have not even uh, been able to finish my jungle yet, which is a bad sign for me, uh, as these people at the bottom lane are not able to understand by seeing the map that, uh, and they see only one hero. So they are thinking that maybe they can take down the hero and take down the tower, but that's not going to happen that way. So we have got two down. It's a bad situation for us, but then 
see the presence of mind for players is not prevalent. Tonight I am not going to discuss about how the hero is going to be played. I am going to be generally talk about the laning, the aspect of how we have to be particular about how we take our lanes and what is to be pushed and how we to be pushed. Raz is still trying to fight the mage, but he's still going to die, and someone's going to come in the middle and and put him down, which is exactly what happened. We are already 4-0. Our team is literally uh, not able to pursue the lanes. I'm just going to focus on farming, give ourselves a gold advantage as much as possible. So now Arduin has not shifted his lane and uh, it's a fight between Nakrot and these people have CC also as well. Raz has come and helped me out and we were able to defeat the enemy. Luckily they, they made the choice of shifting the lane at the right time. If possible I will wait for my ult and you can double ult her and help myself for a kill and help myself for another kill. Which was a smart move to stick there around, but they still got the kill on Tadanas. The point of the jungler is to be able to literally take as many jungle items and objectives as possible. That is what I am focusing to do. So when we have when we have to understand, so in front we see definitely there are two items, two guys who are going to live steal, including L'Oreal. So it will be a wise decision right now for the MM and the Mage. Uh, also me late game to make a support item which is a heal item so that they do not regen their, themselves while playing the game. Regen is a very 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 big situation in the game that uh, we have to be countering to. It's not easy to just uh, take kills and just be normal. You have to be understanding of how to be countering a regen situation. So right now you see, uh, though he is going back, he's going to go back. I'm going to focus so that he's not going to be able to reach me. He's going to be recalling here. No, he's there. Scarf joined me in the fight, but we can't really do anything. Since they've already pushed the bottom tower, I'm going to see there are two players here. I'm going to think of focusing over uh, the situation at this tower. No matter the how long it takes, support I is actually fight. defending this tower as much as possible. There are two players here who are trying to defend the tower. L'Oreal is going to come down and focus no, on trying to get uh, some advantage over me, but I'm not going to allow that. Scud is in a bad situation. I need to go and help Scud, otherwise we will lose the tower and I do not want that. Yes, we were not able to take the tower. He was able to pursue the situation and Scud is going inside. I'm going to just handle. Maybe Scud can take him down. I'm going to take the tower here. But no, I'm not able to because the minions are not there. I have to wait for the minions to take the tower, which I will eventually. Even though we I have. So I've got a little bit of movement speed but I was not able to handle myself and I did not even get uh, his ult so I couldn't really uh, handle itself, handle myself in that situation and I died. 
though we are in a upper hand it can easily go downfall if we do not uh, engage at the right moments you see how the enemy is uh, pushing split pushing now that we have our mm and this thing i can actually concentrate to take my jungle and handle my bottom lane raz is still still trying to be very focused on I couldn't I couldn't fight 2v1 there. That's a bad play by me. But because I kept them occupied, we took the top tower on we took the top tower, so it is a win for us in a way. Your team has destroyed a tower. Luckily Yuma is doing what he did. Luckily I gave Yuma the build and he is able to take care of the situation and dissipate any kind of uh, pressure that we have. Now we don't have a pressure. I can easily jungle my heart content, and I will not go in a fight until I finish my jungle. Even if we die, we still have towers to be able to play, so not an issue. And I let the uh, team want to be able to take the kills. I will jungle till then so that I can become a one-shot hero at the end. Oh. Legendary. You have defeated an enemy. Because I had help from all them. No matter how long it Double kill. I will. You must win really well. You must did extremely well. He got the entire team down. We are in a very good position and we will win this game. undefeated undoubtedly your team has destroyed a tower legendary the target in the process i've actually explained to you very clearly what are roles where do we go how do we go what heroes to pick how to manage the picks legendary who to fight when to fight them Well, you can see it very clearly that Telana is able to now handle herself Your because her gold is also higher. Power. About the kills that she's taken, so as many kills as you take, the gold increases. There you go. You see, commendable, you know. You know, very good. There we done with the game. Brilliant. Good job. Victory. I've almost answered all questions that I had to answer. I should just check if I have to deal the highest damage in my team. I think Kalnas dealt the highest damage in my team. I have ranked up one sub tier. I have done from diamond two to diamond three. The universe unfolds around me. Yuma was undefeated because he was 15-0-0. A brilliant game by Yuma. Good job. So technically, if we check, see Yuma had the highest damage in my team because he have was undefeated throughout. I had little more damage than him, and everybody else was just supporting. Luckily, because of the earlier uh, situation, we did not need to make. Uh, our uh, missing item the item that i was talking about the uh regen item we didn't need to really make it acha hold on let me just check what has new has come right in there was a glitch trans morgy fine glitch kana so let's just check that again Zata is there. Raioma is there. Nobody else new.
No, I don't think any DLC is in here. When are they going to give us Zelda, bro? Let's go, let's go, son. So I think Zata or Roman ki dikh rahe hain bro. Phoenix or koi nia dikh nahi raha hai. Kya 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 lo Roman kya? Zata or Roman dikh rahe hain. Ki transmorphic morphify ke tar mein jaoge. So apko Zata or Roman dikh rahe hain. So probably upcoming. हीरोज में से कुछ हो सकता है कि वो जाटा और रैम आ जाए रे उमर क्या तुम आ जाए दोनों में से कोई भी आ गया तो मजा ही आ जाएगा मास्टर बोथ स्ट्रीम करेगा सर जी बिल्कुल आज दिख नहीं रहे ज्यादा लोग Okay, Phoenix. Next, next round, I will check uh, the new skin. Raj's ka mohita hai to nia hai, bro. That was the most expensive skin that uh, they had in this versions. I'm not going to take the name of the previous versions. <laughs> But yes. Mostly, I've covered all my uh, educational content when it comes to uh, when you are playing in low bracket or lower rank situations. Uh, you need to uh, basically in lower rank players, you should uh, tag properly. You should tell them where to see, where to handle yourselves. Uh, So let's try that. Let's try tagging uh, for everyone. Let's try and tell them always farm. Let's tell them to uh, push your lane. Let's them tell them to destroy the turrets. So let's just focus on on this. Let's keep it a mission to handle that, and also get the highest damage in your team. Certainly, so I have to take life steal. Very important. Okay, 
Uh, the thing is, Luca is going to be missing. Uh, why don't you please come? So we saw him take his red, but uh, apparently our uh, support wanted the red so bad. He did what he did, and he took the red. Come and see. So, is he going to teach or is he going to comment on this channel? हमारे थोड़े से एजुकेशन कंटेंट चल रही है हमारी चैनल पे एट द मोमेंट वी आर ट्रेनिंग न्यू प्लेयर्स टू हैंडल हैंडल्स इन अ गेम प्ले सिचुएशन नाइस So you see, when a when a Tara, she's got life steal, and I will not be able to defeat her. That's a well placed tag by Timmy. Oh my God, that's a lot of damage. This team is playing really well. He is actually keeping with me and supporting his MM throughout, and supporting other players as well. That way, you see um, how a support can really manage. Uh, don't object. Man, that that was a really bad L. Kills Natalia. No, that is mine, bro. Come on. Bro, I need to get higher damage. You were saying Natalia, who is? ने मेरे को बोला So as you can see, we are we are not taking the objectives that are uh, the dragons and slayers. Eh? No response. 
ठीक है लिटिल बिजी यार बॉट्स को मारने में बिजी तीन माइक दे जेबी 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 कैसा है वेलकम वेलकम जेबी खाना वाना सब हो गया अब लेट आया भाई तू आके गया था ना इससे पहले थोड़े थोड़े गेम खेल के गया होगा वैसे ये एजुकेशनल टीम कब तक चलेगी बस कि अगर मेरे को हायर जामिन मिल गया तो नहीं खत्म हो जाएगा तो दोन जितना हो सके मत फाइट कर मेरे को किल लेने दे तो मैं डैमेज दे सकता हूँ आजा प्रो आजा जेबी जेबी अगले गेम आ जाओ आपको लगता है आप कुछ बहुत ज्यादा टॉपिक्स एक साथ कवर कर रहे हो द हीरोज द लेंस द डैमेज आर्म आर पी एस एवरीथिंग पर दे डोंट हैव एनी आईडिया व्हाट आर व्हाट इज आर्मर पियर्स शी टुक माय किल दैट्स फाइन वेयर एंडिंग राइट Ending right? End it. You can. Ending. You can end it. End it. I can. End okay. It. Oh, I couldn't. Say, die. Enemy double. Ah, मेरे को इसको नहीं जाना मारना था. नूब वालो यू डायट टू आइस ओके यू आर द नूब इन ट्राइंग टू फाइट तारा विदाउट दिल्ड Don't mind that. So that I will take. I will take the jungle. Okay. 
Look at the gank, oh my god. That was a bloodthirsty Brunhilda. Nice one, Natalia. Well played. By mistake, at least. Trying to go what for the kills. Ooh, someone is dying. Someone is about to die. Oh, okay, watch out. Better in early game on network. Gee, nice one. Need is all I need is iron damage. That's all I need. Wait, where are you going? Ah, back to the back. Hey, hey. Okay. That's how we do it, people. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Hmm. Consistently dying. Ah, we're at it. Right. We get high damage. Yes, we got high damage. Thank you so much and good night, folks. Tata Baba to you. <laughs> 